Welcome to the Sociology 101, Chapter 16, Education, created by Marquise Bailey and Angel Demelis. Well, what is education? Well, education is defined as a social institution where children are being taught academic knowledge, learning skills, and social norms. International differences in education systems are not solely a financial issue. The value put on education and the things surround it within a country can also play a part in differences. For example, students in South Korea spend 220 out of 365 days in school, whereas students in the U.S. spend on average 180 out of 365 days in school. Notice anything? Formal education versus informal education. Formal education explains the learning and academic facts and concepts through formal curriculum. In today's society, education is considered a right and responsibility for all citizens. Informal education is learning that is centered around cultural values, norms, and expected behaviors by being a part of a society. This occurs in both the home setting and the formal education setting. Most of our early learning experiences are informal. This usually happens around family, friends, and others in the community. There are different types of perspectives and theories when it comes to education. First, we will talk about functionalism perspective. Functionalists view education as one of the more important social institutions in a society. Education provides one of the major methods used by people for upward social mobility, known as social placement. Next, we have the conflict theory. Conflict theorists believe that the education reinforces and sustains social inequalities that emerge from differences in classes, race, gender, and ethnicity. They do not believe that public schools reduce social inequalities and view it more negatively. Next, we have the feminist theory. Feminist theorists focus on the gender inequalities in education. They characterize their educational systems by unequal treatment and opportunity for women. And lastly, we have the symbolic interactionism. Symbolic interactionist views education as one way that labeling theory is seen in action and might say that this labeling has a direct correlation to those who are in power and those who are labeled. Next, we will talk about issues in education. First is equal education. Students of all races and ethnicities are permitted into schools, still having trouble in the equality of their education and public schools are supposed to help bridge that gap. Next, we have the Head Start, which developed to give low-income students an opportunity to make up the preschool deficit. Then we have busing, which involved bringing students into schools outside of their neighborhoods, help bring balance to racial diversity, and public resistance from both sides. Then we have the No Child Left Behind. This act required states to test students in designated grades, also help determine eligibility to receive federal funding. And if your school didn't meet the standards, your budget was cut. Now we have the Teaching to the Test, which preparing students to perform well on standardized tests. Then we have 
bilingual education. Attempts to give equal opportunity to minority students and the need for English fluency in everyday life and in the professional world. Continuing with the issues in education, we have Common Core, which is a set of high quality academic standards in mathematics and in English language, arts and literacy. The controversy is the assessment, processes, and the high stakes involved. Math questions were found to be misleading. Then we have charter schools, which are self-governing public schools that help improve students when poor performance is revealed on tests. Then we have teacher training, Many teachers don't teach in their specialized field. Then we have social promotion, which is passing of students onto the next grade, whether or not they have met the requirements for that grade. Next, we have affirmative action. It is suggested that minority students are given greater weighted priorities for admittance. Then we have the rising student loan debt, which is recent grads aren't able to meet financial obligations and all of society is affected. Lastly, we have homeschooling, which refers to children being educated in their own homes instead of the regular public or private school system. Now we will summarize all of chapter 16. 16.1 was about education around the world. It is apparent the educational systems around the world are very different, even though the same factors affect every education system. The distribution of education is a bigger problem at hand, especially in the U.S., where the amount of money spent on students is greatly different in every state. Education occurs in different mediums, formal and informal systems, but both foster cultural transmission. 16.2 was about theoretical perspectives on education. There are many theories that gives us insight on how to understand education a little bit better. Functionalist sees education as a very important social institution in a society. Conflict theorists believe that public schools reduce social inequalities and view it more negatively. Feminist theorists focuses on the gender inequalities in education. Symbolic theorists focus on education as a means for labeling individual students. 16.3 was about issues in education. As the lives of students are being catered to, more challenges arise. Socioeconomic status and diversity are hot topics in today's education systems. Issues in charter schools homeschooling, and common core are creating more problems in today's society.